Dave, thank you. And now to the pandemic and the changes possibly on the way as new cases and hospitalizations continue to drop across the country. The Centers for Disease Control is expected to loosen its guidance on indoor masking in the coming days, but Michigan health officials have already pulled the trigger. 13 on your side's Joshua Benson is live to tell us more. Josh. Hey, good morning, Jay and Meredith. Yeah, major changes indeed. Governor Whitmer's administration has stopped recommending that masks be worn inside of schools and other public places to curb COVID-19. The step by the state's health department Wednesday comes days after all 10 county health agencies with K through 12 masking requirements rescinded them effective by the end of the month. Now the state continues to urge masking in high risk congregate settings like health care facilities and jails. But let's take a look at the latest health uh, COVID numbers across the state. Michigan added more than 4200 cases over the past two days. Two weeks ago, that number was at 19,000. For only the third time this year, the rate of positivity is below 10% at 8.84%. The seven day average is 11.75%, which is the lowest it's been since the end of October. One last note, Governor Whitmer signed legislation to spend more than a billion dollars in federal aid to fight the coronavirus. Meredith.